Okay, let's talk about something very practical today again, and it's where to keep notes. Imagine you have a, a SQL string, a JSON string, whatever, you want to keep track of for the day, but you don't want to permanently put that string or whatever it is into a file inside your project, check it in and push it or whatever. Keyword, scratch files. So imagine you're writing a new tips and tricks episode like I do. And I want to write, I want to put in some JSON string into that episode. Now, obviously what I could do while experimenting with the JSON string is simply insert a new file into my project, call it test.json. And then I get full autocompletion and validation here. So I would just say hello and then world, something like that. But that is kind of spammy because it puts my file in here. I might even check it in, forget it, forget about it. And that's not really what I want. Better in IntelliJ, there's a concept of scratch files. And you have to uh, basically push four keyboard keys, Control, Shift, Alt, Insert, which opens up a new menu. And you see a new scratch file here. You can say what type it should be. I just edited some HTML and JSON. That's why they're listed here at the top. But you can put basically anything uh, that IntelliJ understands in here, Oracle, SQL Plus, whatever you want. And when I say JSON, a new file opens up. It's not shown anywhere. Let me just delete test JSON so you don't get confused. And again, here I can do whatever I want. So my age, and then, um, I don't know. Let's say I'm... Uh, 16. Right. So you've got that and you can play with that. And that's pretty much all you need to know. You can see the uh, past, the recent files are edited. You can still find your scratch files here, but now you can just go about, you know, editing your code and whatnot, and you won't spam the project with whatever you put into the scratch file. And obviously you can always go back and access the scratch content. It won't get saved. It's just a reminder for you where you can put all your notes, everything you have to experiment during the day, during a session with it, put it in a scratch file and uh, forget about it. All right, I hope you like that. As always, I keep forgetting to ask you what you want to see covered next. A specific trick about something in the Java universe, let me know and I'll try to come up with a trick for you. See you next week.